Welcome to the Nav Viking tutorials. I'm Johannes Goodmanson, founder of Anecta, a Microsoft Dynamics NAV Gold certified partner. Hello and welcome to the Coffee Market tutorials. We are actually going to keep going on Business Central. Obviously, we've done a lot of videos on NAV 2018 and uh, 16 and 17, but now we're in Business Central. Things should work the same. Um, there's probably going to be a lot of new people coming into NAV that want to go through this uh, cloud uh, environment, rather. So I apologize to everybody who has already seen this that I'm going to do, but I'm going to kind of go through a little bit of basic stuff, you know, uh, just to get going on Business Central. And uh, and I'll also be, of course, going through NAV 2018, deeper stuff like the manufacturing. But anyways, um, so to all the new people out there, uh, we're going to create an item. That's usually the first thing that I do with uh, any new system. Just uh, see how hard it is to create an item. So let's go here into items. Uh, and I get a list of items. So it's nice to actually have pictures uh, right up front. Very pretty. Um, and I just hit new to create a new item and up I get the template. So for those who don't know, uh, you can actually set up templates for different items. So this is what this is about is um, you, you don't have to fill out things on the item card. You have pre-filled out certain things and created a template for that. Um, so I'm actually just going to create the standard item actually with no sales tax. Let's do that. So I just hit OK after selecting that. And I get an item card. Ask me for a description. Since we are in the coffee business, we start with the coffee mug. Uh, if anybody notices that I'm overly excited, uh, it is because this is pretty cool. I really like this product. All right, so we get create the coffee mug. And uh, that should be it. Uh, it automatically put in the base unit measure as pieces. Uh, item category, I mean, I could have set that up to be something here, like miscellaneous. Um, how about uh, setting up some costs? Nope, it's FIFO. This automatically came from the item um, template. How about the price? Sure, let's put a unit price on that. And by the way, this is the simplest way of doing a price. It's going to be $5. Uh, you can, of course, create very uh, complicated price schemes up here. Um, and then we have replenishment parameters. Um, you have planning. And for people that uh, are kind of new to this, you know, these, these, there is a lot of options, obviously, in NAV that you can set up. And so I'm going through and showing some of these here, but you don't really have to set that up. I didn't even have to put up the unit price. I could have just put in the description and left it at that. Unit price would have come up a zero, of course, in the sales order, um, but but I put in five. Okay, so let's go ahead and put it on a sales order since we're flying around here. So I close this out. I go into sales, um, go into sales orders, and I'm gonna create a new sales order um and so who is it to i'm gonna do the canon group so let me see here click on this to get it by name actually i'm gonna just do it like that um okay <laughs> what we don't have the canon group okay this is an inside joke um <laughs> I, I can't sell to the Cunning Group. So, all right, so I'm going to just do here the Alpine. Uh, and here it comes, Alpine Ski House. Okay, this is a moment in life that's pretty big. I've been doing the Cunning Group for almost 20 years here. All right, so we have type item, number. We're going to find our coffee mug. That's right there. Uh, we're selling out of no location. We want to sell 20 of them. Uh, it automatically comes with $5, no discount, etc. And that's it. So um, 
Now I can just release it. I can print it out. Let's print out a confirmation. Let's take a look at that. Um, and let's preview that. So and this is all in the cloud, by the way. Really cool. I'm not uh, on-prem or anything like that. So let's see the printout preview. Uh, here is, oh, pretty. All right, obviously you can change it if you don't want it like this, but it's kind of nice. This one looks like somebody handwritten, has handwritten it. All right, good enough. Anyways, you get the idea. So this is uh, creating an item, putting it on a sales order, printing out the sales order confirmation, uh, and that's it. Now I just close that out. So I hope you got something out of this. Thumbs up if you like it. If you haven't subscribed, go ahead and subscribe. I'm going to be posting on Business Central and... NAV 18 uh, and anything Microsoft that's important for us. Um, so thanks for watching. Until next time.